Welcome back to the show. Lakers still need a coach. Former coach of the year and NBA champion Byron Scott is on Undisputed and pondered the idea of LeBron James, player coach. Take a listen. My recommendation, uh, the next Laker coach, and out of the eight or nine names that I've heard, his name wasn't known there, is make LeBron the coach. I got nothing but love and respect for LeBron. I love him. I think he's one of the greatest players that ever played this game. But it's, it's obvious to me, at least, that he's making a lot of decisions that's going on in this organization. No doubt. From a coaching standpoint to a player standpoint. So if you're going to allow him to make those decisions, all right, sit on the bench and make those decisions as well. Be the head coach. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Well, that, I'll, that's I'll exactly let you, right. I'll let you guys debate the merits of him being the head coach. I, just to be fair, what Byron said there is completely incorrect. LeBron has had no say on any of the Lakers coaches. He tried, he, he advocated for Ty Lue. They lowballed Ty Lue and didn't get him. And then when they were doing the, the Darvin Ham search, he was out of it and he didn't, was not a part of them hiring Vogel. As far as the players stuff, I, yes, obviously, he pushed Westbrook. for them to get Westbrook. He also pushed for them to get Kyrie Irving last year and then publicly was disappointed when they didn't get it. And he pushed for them to make moves this offseason. So, and, I'm sorry, during this regular season, and they didn't do it. So, this the, LeBron somehow is the invisible hand of all the Lakers' mistakes and nothing to do with the successful moves. I get that that's a well, narrative. Anthony for, Davis, he gets the, credit for that. The, yeah, no, absolutely. The Anthony Davis thing, does he? Does he, I mean, he should. Uh, he should, the, but he doesn't. The, I correct. I, I, don't I, does. I don't think. I, mean, I don't, I don't think people look at it like LeBron got AD here. <laughs> That's right. No, that is yeah, not what they, they. Really? They, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, I haven't. You don't hear that. I much. haven't heard that. I, I have heard so much more about LeBron forced them to get Russell Westbrook rather than LeBron got us Anthony Davis. Oh, but okay. regardless, yeah. but the I don't think it is plausible for him to be player coach. But to your credit. You wanted us to do this as a topic two weeks ago, yeah. and we are, we topic. dismissed I, I it because it. we thought it was impossible. Well, okay, I disagree with you, but all right. So well, three things. Okay, one to what Byron said: clear leadership. Whether whether or not LeBron is the shadow GM or not, certainly I think players look to the Lakers at LeBron as a leader on the team. So you know what? Let's not have a delineation of power. I'm the leader, I'm the captain of the team, I'm the best player, I'm the legend, I'm also the coach. There's one quarterback on the team, not two. <clears throat> There's not two decision makers. Even in J.J.'s, uh, their podcast, LeBron has something. It was just kind of an offhand remark, but it hit my antenna. He's like, yeah, Darvin drew something out, I vetoed it. I was like, oh, okay, maybe everybody can do that, but it struck me as like, all right, you're obviously the leader. Two, let's put to bed the idea that he can't do it. It has happened in every sport. And he's like, well, modern NBA, you wouldn't be able to do it. Here's what LeBron does. He is a he has different roles, whatever you want to call what his labels on all that. He has Spring Hill. He has uninterrupted. He runs a school. He has a family foundation. He's part of Fenway Sports Group. He makes tacos every Tuesday. He does Blaze <laughs> Pizza. He's got Nike responsibilities. He's got a ton of other responsibilities. Adding one more thing to his portfolio is not ridiculous when he has a wide portfolio. So how are those things successful? He has great people in, uh, ahead of each of them with great staffs. That's how you're able to do it. So do this Lakers exactly how you run Spring Hill and uninterrupted and, and however Clutch is set up. And ha have a, someone really good as your assistant and have a great staff, but you are the top. You are the one so making So what are decisions. you doing? Like, I mean, what are you doing? If, if the assistants you're being the, are doing everything, you're, saying, you're, 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 you're being the CEO. You're being the final decision maker. I, I, I think it's impossible today. The last player coach was 1979, Dave Cowboys. What makes it impossible? Plethora. I think today's NBA is so much more complicated than the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So, so they, why had you have two, a... they had two coaches on NBA teams in the 60s and 70s. Two coaches, so, head coach, one assistant. Now they got like harder. nine coaches. Okay, that, I mean, that, so that I argument is that's more what difficult. what he's saying, though, is have no, basically get, a full I, I coaching get, staff. I get yeah. all that. But I, there, look, even for film study, if you have a, a, your video people put together to film, you still need to watch it before the team does. So when you're breaking down film study, you've got where you want to go and what you want to point out and all that stuff. I, I just think player – I know LeBron watches a lot of film. 
I doubt he's watching as much as the head coaches. You, there are some great head coaches. The reason the Knicks are where they are is Tom Thibodeau. I mean, the players deserve a lot of credit, but, but he's doing a great job. Mark Dagnall in Oklahoma City. Ty Lue with the Clippers. Like, you mean to tell me that a player with all his responsibilities as a player is going to be able to match what they do, the effort they put in for a head coach? That's not even to mention egos, brands. I, if, a, if I'm a player and I'm going to be a free agent and I want to get a huge contract and the coach, the player, my teammate benches me, I got a problem. If players have a problem with the head coach, they can kind of band together and be like, look, man, we're going to do it despite him. But if, if it's a – if it's a – is it? <laughs> I told him to cut you off. No, they could be the end of the show. <laughs> Moving on. Austin Rivers – it was on the Pat McAfee uh-huh. show yesterday. It made some NFL players pretty mad and also invoked an unbelievable rant by Chris Long. Shout out to him. It was great on his podcast. <laughs> uh, here's what he said. I can take 30 players right now in the NBA and throw them in the NFL. You cannot take 30 NFL players and put them in the NBA. All right. From the right. Let's talk about the first part of that statement. I can take 30 players in the NBA and put them in the NFL. I think he almost has a point. Where do you stand, You look Greg? ticked off. I'm not ticked off. You, that face looked like you were this upset. Part because he does have a point. Like, I, I could see some guys in the in NBA right now being able to play in an NFL game. How long they last and if they can <laughs> play for an entire season, obviously changing their body, that all matters. But if we were to take them as they are, the shape that they're in, the physical abilities that they currently have, there's a few guys. There's, there's, well, there's can, a handful of guys Let me add this to what it. you said. I agree. I think 30's high. 30's too high. I think 30's way too high. Between, way too between high. 5 and 10. Oh, can, I made a list, and I oh, even gave okay. him positions. I, I, did, okay. I made a list, and I gave him positions. Can we see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so we can I, show, I we can show Jalen Brown, I put it defensive end, because that's what Chris Long said. Anthony Edwards is going to play running back or safety. Aaron Gordon's going to be a Jimmy Graham-style tight end. Josh Hart with his rebounding and toughness. And I, t- I was like, you know what? You can be a wide receiver <laughs> three. LeBron, defensive end or tight end. Younger LeBron, not age 39 yeah, yeah, LeBron. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Russell Westbrook, running back or safety. And I'm not being a jerk here. Yeah, you I are. mean this about Zion. I think Zion, with his Tackle? feet, yeah, if he put on weight, is Zion. Well, that is, wouldn't be a problem. Right. Well, he's 6'6". <laughs> A crazy athlete, nimble feet, yeah, Jason Peters style. He, like, could, he could definitely be an offensive absolutely. tackle. I think he could be a tight end. I was going to okay, say sure, tight end. He's going to have to well, tight end. He might have to, I guess, say, maybe lose a little weight. Offensive tackle, maybe gain a little weight. But those are the seven I came well, up. Well, I'm going to give you a couple more. I, okay. I agree with those. Uh, Gordon, six ten. Oh, that's I, that's tough. Oh, so I, I think, think you get hit true, up in here. With you if so he's I a think true six, six ten. I thought he was closer to six eight and a half. Okay, oh, if he's six, six eight, ten's too tall. Six, you can cross him off. I'm gonna throw in. I have no idea if these dudes ever played for Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson. They're they're built a little bit. They're six one, which doesn't seem big in basketball, but in football, could they be a defensive back? Again, a safety? Again, I, I'm not. I understand the professional athlete mentality. Yeah. So it's it's they're all going to say, yeah, I can do that. Now, respectfully, do I truly do I feel like I could play it in my time? Do I feel like I could have played in the NBA? Absolutely. But out of respect of what those guys do, I oh, would have to say, oh, they got me, some high. Hey, let me tell you hey, about this kid ready. right here. He ain't passing. Hey, no, nope. he ain't passing. No, n- neither was Kobe. <laughs> neither was Kobe. But he was getting buckets. <laughs> Look, it's straight, <laughs> a straight bucket getter. If you want a bucket, put so, me in. Can coach. I ask you a question then on this before we move on? Uh, just, I think there are more guys in the end. I think that there are a handful of guys in the NBA, just a handful, who. It could go to the NFL after call it a year of training and be excellent and be like, you know what I mean? Be, mm-hmm. I think Anthony Edwards could be excellent. I think LeBron and his peak could have been excellent. Do you think there's anyone in the NFL that could be an excellent NBA player? Excellent. And because to me, the like, current, yeah, the that's the, because to me, the height and there's so much parts yeah. of being a great basketball player right. that's more skill than athleticism. Can I say something sense. quick yep. for you? I think a guy like you, and I don't know why you chose football over basketball, but 
I think guy, a guy like you, and there's several like you in the NFL, right, mm -hmm. that were great college yeah. or high school basketball players. If they had chosen basketball and continued to play it, I do think they could have been in of the course. NBA. I, I don't think an NFL guy could step right in like an NBA guy might be able into the NFL and do it. I, I agree with that. that. Now, so for me, when I look at NFL guys, currently how we're configured, yeah. <laughs> like it's tough because the size in the NFL is different than the size in the NBA. So like Miles Garrett, we all see Miles yeah. Garrett playing and dunking and doing all those. And but and all that. he would be... Undersized. Uh, he would be Charles Barkley, yeah, he, basically, yeah, yeah. essentially, in the NBA. And I don't know if he could be I don't think that version. Of, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if he could be the It'd version be guards, of Charles Barkley. Well, think? that's the problem. The like, problem is guards. if you are under 6'6 and want to be excellent in the NBA, you have to be so elite at either ball handling ball or handling, shooting, shooting. And which is not average. really like it's not about your raw, pure athleticism when, again, and I'm not trying to downplay what it takes to be great at the NFL, but I watch Anthony Edwards and I say, I think he'd probably be pretty, like, kind of awesome at everything. You know what I mean? Is that That's about raw athleticism. Look, let, let, but, let Ant tell it. Yeah. If it got a ball, I'm, he could play. <laughs> Coming up next uh, are the Chicago Bears. At the bare minimum, that, that was unintentional. Yes. Headed to the playoffs. We'll discuss wow. that next. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.